In this unit here, we are going to be covering electric charge and electric force. And this is the main equation that we're going to be utilizing in this unit, which is what is known as Coulomb's Law. And what Coulomb's Law states, Coulomb's Law says that anytime you have any two charged particles, and you know the charges on both those particles, you know the charge on particle one and the charge on particle two, and you know the distance between the centers of those particles, and this equation says that you can mathematically calculate the force of attraction or repulsion acting on those charged particles. And of course, you will use Coulomb's constant K, which is always 9 times 10 to the 9, and plug all those values into this equation to find the magnitude of the force. So I would encourage you all to watch the video done by Coach Davis, in which she utilizes this equation in order to do several examples. But in this video right here, we're going to focus on the concepts behind the equation. Let's start with considering this visual here. Imagine that I had two charged particles and I was holding these particles in my hand. Just imagine I could do that. And the charge on one of these particles is negative and the charge on the other particle is positive. Well, what do you guys would think will happen if I take these two charged particles and I release them? Well, you guys know the basic rule. The basic rule is that opposites attract. What Coulomb's law says is that the moment these two charged particles are released from my hand, they're going to be attracted toward one another and they're going to come together. So that's the concept behind Coulomb's law. Let us consider another example. Suppose I had two charged particles and one was negative and the other was negative. What would happen here if I was holding these two charged particles in my hand and I decided to release them? Well, we know opposites attract. But what do light charges do? Light charges should repel. So these two charged particles, the moment I release them, they're going to fly away from each other. The same thing would occur if I had two charged particles and one was positive and the other was positive. These would also repel because they are light charges. By the way, just so you guys recognize, the equation that describes the magnitude of this force here between these two charged particles obey the inverse square law. And what that means is if I was to take these two charged particles and I were to double the distance, the act of doubling the distance decreases the force between them by a factor of four. If I was to triple the distance between them, the force would reduce by a factor of of nine, if I was to quadruple the distance, the force reduced by a factor of, of 16 and so on. Kind of think of two magnets. If you have two magnets and two magnets, a North Pole and North Pole, and they're re repelling each other, that force of repulsion would be less if the magnets were further away and they would be greater if they were closer together. I want to close this video by showing you all a real world example of Coulomb's law in action. Did you all know that it's possible to use a cone to bend a stream of water? Well, consider this here. Notice in this video, this girl, she's going to take a cone and she's going to run it through her hair several times. And after she runs it through her hair, she's then going to place the cone next to a steady stream of water like this. And notice what happens as the comb gets closer to the water. Notice how the water actually bends. Why does it do that? Well, it turns out that as the girl is using the comb to run it through her hair, there's friction between the comb and her hair. And that friction causes several electrons to move or shift from her hair and deposit onto the comb leaving the cone with an overall negative charge. And so the negative charge on the negative charges on the cone, it turns out attracts the positive charges on the water molecule. And that's why it ab is able to bend. By the way, I would encourage you all to try this yourself on your free time. Um, it's a pretty cool experiment to try out. I've done it several times myself in the past. Okay, so those were the concepts behind Coulomb's law. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself or anyone else in the physics department. 
I hope you all have a good rest of the week and goodbye.